The bare minimum of self-love is self-respect. Getting to know ourselves is an essential lifelong process. And right now, we're all in different stages of that process. We may feel like strangers to ourselves one day, and then a rekindled friendship with ourselves another day. But underneath all these questions of getting to know ourselves lies a more important and vital question. Do I love myself? Do you love yourself? There are many steps we must take before we can fully and genuinely answer that question of self-love. And that is, how can we navigate, understand, accept, but most importantly, appreciate all stages of life? I like to refer to stages of life as light, bright, dark, and dim. Bright are our sunny days. Life is good. We're on top of our responsibilities, stress is light, room for happiness and fun is wide open. And then we have dim, like a poorly lit room. Things aren't the worst, but they certainly can be better. This may be where you're facing a mild to severe hardship. We see where we want to be, we just have to get there. And then there's dark, lights out, the absence of light. This is where we're at rock bottom. We just feel the pain and don't know where to go. Right now, I want you all to take a moment and think of a time where your life was dim. This may be when you were struggling with an unsupportive teacher or boss, struggling financially. Maybe it was an illness. When I think back to a certain point in my life where it was dim, I think back to when I was in sixth grade, middle school. A fun time to remember, right? I'm pretty sure you're all trying very hard right now to not think about the embarrassing things you did or awkward phases you went through. Well, trust me, me too. I had a collection of cat ear headbands. I made Musical.ly's, which are now TikToks. And I had a Musical.ly shirt that I wore in public. So on top of all the fun ups and downs of middle school, I got sick. I ended up in the hospital for about three months. Life got very frustrating. I was lying in an uncomfortable hospital bed for days on end, trying to switch through the channels that wasn't about flipping houses or whatever the pioneer woman had in store for us today. <laughs> it was frustrating. I was sitting in a bed in pain while my classmates and peers were in a classroom while I couldn't feed or bathe myself independently. Life got dim. See, I knew there was a team of doctors working for me and my parents right by my bedside to help me, but I wasn't better yet. I laid in that bed with negativity and anger. As you can all see, I did eventually exit the dim. I am now very lucky to be able to say I'm healthy. I don't have a feeding tube anymore, but just because we exit the dim doesn't mean we automatically get sunshine. See, sometimes things have to get worse before they get better. A very frustrating phrase I'm pretty sure you've all heard way too many times. Like you were telling me things are sucking and you're gonna tell me they're gonna suck even more and then maybe you'll get better? Yes, I am. And I know that sounds perfectly pessimistic and well, sure, it can be. Or it can be an opportunity to find light. Before I go any further, I want you all to take another moment and think about a time in your life where it was dark. This is where a severe trauma may have happened, grief. It's probably really hard for you to think about. When I think of a time in my life where it was dark, it was last year. I was in an abusive relationship. Things were hard. See, I entered this relationship at the beginning of lockdown, a very dim moment for me, and I allowed my past partner to be a flashlight, an ingenuine light, something that can brighten your world with just a snap and darken it just as easily. See, when things were good, they were good, but when they were bad, they were worse. I allowed him to dictate my forecast for six seasons on end, almost two years. But I didn't have my true lights out moment till I left this relationship. I know what you're thinking. Olivia, why? You got out of an abusive relationship. You were no longer having to endure painful behavior. 
And yeah, that is true, but that meant I had no more light. See, I allowed him to light my whole entire world. Without him, it was utter darkness. I had to find light on my own, independently. And that was terrifying. See, because I have lived through the darkest of darks, I have found ways to find light, to turn the darkness against itself. Because I went through what I did, I now know what boundaries I need and what love does not mean. See, I know it's really easy to sit back and look at whoever you believe is in charge of your life and universe and say, screw you! Why are you making my life so hard? Why is everything so bad? Why does it hurt all the time? But why are you questioning it? We all know life is gonna end. And I know that sounds perfectly pessimistic and I know that sounds not exactly positive, but it can be because you're here. You have miles and miles of opportunity right in front of you. So instead of sitting back and cursing whoever you believe in charge, why can't you take charge? Why can't you find light? Why can't you look in the darkness and light a match? Because that match one day will turn into a star. See, finding light is easier than it sounds. I found light in my friends who were there for me every step of the way with hugs and treats and support. I found light in my parents by looking at the resilience and seeing that I can be that resilient too. You can find light in something as simple as a lucky penny on the ground, heads up, to turn your mood and attitude around. All it takes is one step, one thought, one ounce of effort to say, where's the light? And if I can't see any, how can I make it? It's waking up every day and putting at the forefront of your mind that not only the bare minimum of self-love is self-respect, the bare minimum of love is respect. How can I embody that every day? And that's by being positive, by being grateful, by looking at every single opportunity, whether it be painful or not, and saying, how can I get through this for the better? Because at the end of the day, all my metaphors of light, it just means love. And love is what makes the world go round. And I'm gonna challenge you to be the ones to keep spinning. Thank you. <laughs>